as we go to your word, minister to us in the name of Jesus. Father, this word is for somebody. Let your word be real and alive to them in the name of Jesus. That revelation behind your word, we shall not miss them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, make me your oracle in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. It's an Roman chapter 1, verses 6 to 8. The Lord wants to speak to his church. This is a new year. About the need to set goals for this year. Say, neighbor, set your goals this year. Set your goal now. The Lord wants to speak to somebody to set goals. Don't go into the year without a focus. Hallelujah. Remember, you are not a product of accidents. God has a plan for you. And you can only assess divine plan if you have a plan that aligns with the plan of God for your life. Let's read the scripture. Tanurim chapter 1 verse 6. The Lord our God speak unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this month. Hallelujah. Verse 7, turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites and unto all the places nigh there unto, in the plain, in the hills, in the vale, in the south, and by the sea, to the land by the to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, and unto Great River, the river Ephrite. Verse 8, church, one, two, go. I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them. Hallelujah. If you look at uh, the Bible passage that we read, verse 6, the Lord speak, you have dwelt long enough in this mountain. Please note that word. Somebody in the house, you have remained in the same job for too long. You have remained in the same situation. God is saying to you, it's not a God of stagnation. Hallelujah. We are serving a dynamic God. Say, neighbor, my God is dynamic. He said, they can't. He said, neighbor, I am serving a God who is dynamic. Hallelujah. God say you have dwelt long in this position long enough. It's time to do something else. Hallelujah. It's time to go forward. It is the will of the Lord for you to make progress. You must progress. I know there are times when we are afraid of taking steps because of the fear of the unknown. But as children of God, the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. But power, love, and what? Sound mind. We must not be afraid of taking the right step at the right time. You have dwelt long enough in this month. Turn you and take your journey. Say neighbor. neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. This word is for you. It is time for you to take the right step that will move your destiny forward. Say to yourself, say this is my year of progression. Say this is my year of progression. I am unstoppable. I am going forward. I am going forward and possess the land which the Lord has given unto me in the name of Jesus. The word is for somebody, including the pastor. We have dwelt long enough in this mountain making excuses. Making excuses. We have dwelt long enough. And God said to them in verse 8, God said, Behold, I have set the land before you. Uh -uh. God has to remind them of their goals, of their objective. Behold, I have set the land before you. Behold, somebody, 
he has set the land before you. Go in and possess the land. Brethren, God expressed a clear goal here. I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land. Brethren, without a clear goal, you cannot make progress. God set a clear goal. I have set the land before you. Your assignment is not to wander in one place for 40 years. Your assignment is not to remain in one place for 40 years. God did not bring you all the way from Africa to be what you are now. God has a better plan for you. What you have now is a means, it's a vehicle where to where God is taking you. Behold, I have set the land before you. God said a clear goal before the children of Israel to put an end to wandering and wasted years. I pray for somebody as you take the right step this year, the wasted effort is over in the name of Jesus. I say wasted years over in the name of Jesus. The rising of a man is based on his ability to rely on God to fulfill his goal in life. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in. You've got to take step this year. You've got to do the right thing. You've got to change your friends who are holding you back. You've got to move to the carcass that will reinforce your confidence that you are a child of confidence. Say, neighbor, I'm a child of confidence. The Bible told us that when the mantle of leadership fall upon Joshua, when God called him in Joshua 1, in verse 2, God was clear about the goals and the purpose of his leadership. God said to him in Joshua 1, to Joshua 1, to God says to him, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I do give to them. So God was clear. His assignment was clear. Your assignment is clear this year. You've got to possess the land. Amen. Don't make excuse. God was clear about the task before Joshua. <laughs> Brethren, when God called people, he gave them a clear goal. God does not call and raise people without clear goals. God will not call you and bamboos you up and down. God will not call you and mesmerize you. God will call you and give you a clear idea. You've got to key into it and fulfill your destiny or you miss it altogether. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God does not call people without clear goals that he wants them to fulfill. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, God said to Jeremiah, before I form thee in the belly, I know you. Before you came forth out of the womb, I sanctify you. And I what? Ordain you as a prophet unto the nations. So what is God's goal for Jeremiah to become what? A prophet to the nation. That's his goal. A prophet. I have called you. I have appointed you. I have sanctified you. I have ordained you. Don't go and become a pastor. Don't go and become a shepherd because you are a prophet. God provided Jeremiah with specific and clear goal attached to his role as a prophet. Verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. God says, See, I have set thee these days. Rema Saida Kale Mushirima. I have set thee these days above the nations, above the kingdom, to root out and to what? And to what? And to what? And to what? Build and to plant. That's his assignment. To root out. To root out. I have set thee in a race. Don't go and mess up. You have a clear plan of what I want to do here. And you are the messenger. And you are the vehicle. And you are the what? The conductor. And you are the oracle. And you are the mediator. And you are the prophet. You've got to do it and succeed. Or not do it and fail. You've got to have a plan this year. God has specific assignments 
and go. For somebody under my voice this year, I pray for you. As you set how to do God's will for your life, you will not fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. A louder amen. amen. I pray you will not fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you afraid of taking the right step? Hear the word of the Lord. As you take the step of faith this year, you will not fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. Men and women that will help you with your dreams and go. God will bring them around you in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is the goal we are talking about here? A goal is the end towards which your effort is directed. Your aim, your objective, your purpose. Your goal is the result that you are attempting to achieve. So the question, what are you attempting to achieve this year to make your life better? As a church, how are we, or what are we going to do this year differently to make our life better? To have a better service, quality experience. When we come here, the whole place light up with glory of God. I say, husband, what goals have you got this year to enhance your family, to enhance your marriage, to protect your marriage, to become a better man? As a mother, what is your goal for this year? To enhance your career and ministry. As a youth, what are you going to do better? What are your goals? To become a better, a better person in life. Starting from this year, I pray, you shall be the head in the name of Jesus. Amen. To be goal-oriented means to be connected with or focus on something. Focus on achieving a particular aim or results. Every child of God must have goals. Every child of God must have goals this year. Because God wants you to be better. Hallelujah. God wants to raise men and women who can fulfill destiny, who can impart life, who can become a pillar. You are supposed to be a pillar. You are supposed to be key and asset to unlocking kingdom. You are supposed to be active in God's hands. Active machineries in his hands. I pray for someone this year, you be better in the name of Jesus. You be better in the name of Jesus. You must have go. You must have go. Everything we do must be goal oriented. Every action you take this year must be because you want to make a difference. You want to achieve something. Brethren, before a worker is hired by an employer, the employer must have a goal in mind where he wants to fit a new worker. That's true. Because I know how we do things at work. Oh, we are short in this area. So we have to hire somebody temporarily to fulfill that role. Hallelujah. We do have that goals in the church as well. We, are, we need someone to come in and do something in the short term to help fulfill a vacancy. What is your goal this year? What is your goal this year? You must be very clear about where God wants you to fit in this year. God's appointments. God's goal for appointing Jesus as our Lord Savior is to actualize his plan of salvation for mankind. So God didn't just send Jesus for the sake of sending Jesus. God has a plan. The Bible says, Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 9 says, Isaiah 9 says, for, on, for a child will be born unto us, and a son will be given unto us, and the government will rest upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Tana Father, Prince of Peace. Ephesians 1, 9 and 10. The Bible says from the NLT, God has now revealed to us his mysterious will regarding Christ. God has now revealed to us his mysterious, will, his, his mysterious plan regarding Christ. A plan to fulfill his own good pleasure. Verse 10. And this is the plan. At the right time, he will bring together. He will bring everything together. Under the authority of Christ, everything in heaven and on, on heart. So God has a goal. Brethren, my God, your God, is a God who 
I say goal-oriented God. It's not chaotic. Hallelujah. He expects you to be like him. How do I know that? The Bible says, before he created man, yes, yes, chapter 1, verse 26, he clearly set out the kind of man he wanted to create. Can we have it? From the KGV. The Bible says from the KGV, and God said, let us make man in what? Our image. That's a goal. This man must be like us in terms of the image and our likeness and let them have dominion. So he has goal. He has goal. And God followed the goals that he set out before he created the first man. Verse 27. 27. 27, the next verse. So God created man in his own image. So God set out what he wanted to do in, 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 in 26. And God achieved them in 27. God followed the goals that he has set out in 27. And the Bible says God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female, created them. You must have a goal this year and follow through your goal. I pray that the grace to follow your goal, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. A louder amen. amen. A louder amen. amen. If God has a goal, Jesus Christ too also has a goal. The Bible says in John 4, 34, Jesus said, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. John 6, 38, Jesus said, for I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Look at that. He didn't come here and brag about his power and anointing. He came to fulfill God's plan of salvation for men. Maybe you are not sure. The enemy also has a goal. Satan also has a goal. Hallelujah. In Job 1, 6 and 7, the Bible says that Satan has a goal for infiltrating the Bible says, now there was a day when sons of God came to, to stand there before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. Verse 7. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence thou comest thou? He answered the Lord, From going to and fro in the heart, and from walking up and down. What does that tell you? An infiltrator. It's an infiltrator. That's his goal. To and fro, monitoring. I pray for somebody, every monitoring spirit in your family, in your life, destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Enemy has goals. Paul warned the Corinthians, lest thou should get, he said, for we are not ignorance of his devices. We are not ignorance of his devices. John 10, 10, Jesus warned us. The thief cometh not but to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. As pastor help us to pray. Threefold satanic ministry. To kill, to steal, to kill, and destroy. You must have a goal. Paul has a goal. Philippians 3, 10. Paul summarizes his goal. To know Christ. To experience the mighty power that raised him from death. To suffer with Christ. And to share what? To share his death. That I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. And fellowship of his suffering. Be made conformable unto death. Don't just be an ordinary Christian. This year. Don't just be follow follow Christian. Don't just be a bench woman. You are, you are wanted here. Because you are an impact. You are wanted here. Because God's power is upon your life that you must put into use. You are wanted here to create problems for the enemy. Brethren, in football, a coach will not introduce a player who we know will create a problem for the team. Every player of 11 must have their useful on the pitch or else you'll be removed. And if a coach needs to make a change, a coach will set the goal to the one going in. This is the problem. Go and solve that problem. I make no sense here. Yes. You are supposed to be a problem solver this year. Amen. But if you don't have a goal, that can be impossible. You must have a goal. You must have a goal. 
Your goal this year will create opportunity for change, transformation, and success. Your goals will help you to focus your effort and parity on something of significance and value. Something that will change your life, that will change your world, that will make the mouth of the enemy to open and they won't be able to close. So you can fulfill this. You must have a goal. What is your goal this year? Your goal will stretch you and help you to become what God wants you to be. Brethren, let me want somebody in the house. It is dangerous to go through this year without a goal. Please. It is dangerous. It is dangerous. And if you are a child of God, you don't have a goal, you are disobeying him. Hallelujah. Because you are not a wanderer, you are a superstar. Every superstar must have a goal. Every superstar must have a goal. There is no star here on that doesn't have a goal. You won't see them without. They, they know what they want to do in life. Why should we believer be exception? Hallelujah. You must have a go in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those who will progress this year are people who are clear about their goals. Are people who map out their strategy for achieving their goals. Jesus said in Luke 14, 20 and 29 from the NIV. Luke 14, 20 and 29. Jesus Christ said, suppose one of you want to build a tower. NIV. NIV. 28. 28. Suppose you want to build a tower. Will he not first sit down and estimate the cost? That is a goal. Planning. See if he has enough money to complete. Verse 29. Verse 29 now. For if he lays the foundation and is not able to finish it, Everyone who sees it ridicule him. That will not be your lot in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will develop goals in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is only when you have a goal, that is when you plan well, that things will work well for you. You have to be able to measure. You must be able to measure your achievement this year. But you can only measure your achievement against your plans, against your goals, against your aspiration. What have I set how to do this year? Brethren, failing to plan is planning to fail. To succeed, you need a clear roadmap. A clear roadmap that will guide you on the best possible route to follow in achieving your goal. I pray for somebody, as you define your goal this year, the Lord will help you to achieve them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, louder, amen. amen. When you are setting your goal, bear this in mind. Number one, align your goals with Jesus. He is the source of all goals. Develop Goals in line with his will and plan of God for your life. Okay? Understand the will of God for your life. Align your will with God's plan for your life. The Bible says in John 15 verse 4 to 5, Jesus said from the KGV, Abide in me and hide in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except he abide in the vine. No more can ye, except he abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abide in me and hide in him, they say bring forth much fruit. For without me you can what? Do nothing. You are nothing without him. Your plans your goals are vain without him. Surrender your goals unto Jesus. Align your goals unto Jesus. When you are setting your goal, bear this in mind. Have a dream. Where is God taking you this year? Where is God taking you this year? What is your dream of where God is taking you this year? Where do you see yourself ending this year? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You must have a dream. Joseph had a dream. You must have a dream. The great achievers of life begin their journey with a dream. You must have a dream. 
If you want to be significant in life, you must have a dream. Have a vision. That sound and look impossible. When you measure them against your current situation, they are impossible. How can I get there unless God moves? That is what you want from you. A dream bigger than what you are now. A dream that you are this. A dream that you are that. That you are there. Even though you are here now. Hallelujah. Amen. When Joseph was dreaming that he was a king, he was nobody. And all his brethren, they came around him and they were bowing to him. He was nobody. He was far from being a king. He was not a royal. But we know the story. He did not lose his dream. And his talent and gift create a roadmap for him to reach the top. I pray for somebody. As you walk for God this year, your talent, your gift, they will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a dream. Have a dream. In planning your goal this year, stop seeking man's opinion. It is time to seek God's approach. God's approach. Say, neighbor, God's approach is the best. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do and lean not on your own understanding. Verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him. And what will happen? He will direct your path. When you are, Daddy, this is all about you. If I fail in this task, people will ask me, where is my God? I cannot afford to fail. Because that means you fail. And you don't do failure. My God does not do failure. If I fail, it's temporarily. I can experience setback, but I am coming back. Hallelujah. So I don't care about your past year's problems and setback. But this year you must rise in the name of Jesus. Yeah. As you trust him, as you acknowledge him, the Bible says he will make your ways, he will make your, your, he will straight your ways. He will make a way for you. Commit your goals into his hand. Brethren, forging ahead without seeking God. It's a lack of faith. However, setting goals and consulting him shows that you trust him and believe that he's able to lead you as you have moved forward. Psalm 32 verse 8. I will, I will instruct you. I will teach you the way thou shalt go. My eye shall be upon you. I will instruct you. I will teach you. That's what he says. Hold on to his word. In setting your goal, forget about the past. Say, neighbor, forget about the past. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't think of the past failure. Oh, I can't do it because I have failed before. As long as that goal is the will of God for your life, it is possible. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Isaiah, Isaiah 43, verse 18, say, remember ye not the former things. Remember Ye not the former things. Philippians 3.13. Paul says there. Philippians 3.13. Paul says. I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do. Forgetting what? Those things which are behind. And reaching forth. And reaching forth. For those things. Brethren forget the past. Forget about past home office failure. Forget about past men's failure. Forget about past prophecy, which are yet to come to pass. If those prophecies are of God, they will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Because his word never fails. The Bible says he honor his word more than what? His name. The Bible says when he has spoken, they can never return to him void. It's only when men spoken and God has spoken that those things are come to pass. If God has not said it, it won't come to pass. If God has not said it through a man, it won't come to pass. But when God has said it, it must come to pass. Everything that God has said to you this year will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Why is setting your goal? This is very important. Identify resources and skills that you need to accomplish your goal. What skills do you need? What resources do you need? What kind of people do you need? You need to change some friends. Whenever you come into people's life, 
they must bring value to you. They must move you. They must motivate you positively. But when you have friends that the only thing we do is gossip, 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 gossip. One, two, three, gossip. You need to change them. Because gossip will end in a cause. Any friends who is not lifting up your hands, you need to move away from them systematically. Hallelujah. You need to, you need to change their, your phone number, their phone number and replace them with somebody who can motivate you. Hallelujah. You need to identify the key people that can help you to accomplish your goals. God has positioned people as angels around you. Angels. Key people. Then you must also identify the barriers to your goals. What are the barriers that can hinder you from achieving your goals and pray them away? What are the barriers? Immigration problem. What are the barriers? Marital problem. What are the barriers? Social problem. Spiritual problem. Ascensual causes. And pray them away. The day you know the source of your problem, the day those problems are over, because you can tackle them. And the last one, Take step. Say neighbor, take step. Say neighbor, take step. Take step. take step for achieving your goal this year. Now. Take step now. Take step now. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't procrastinate. Hallelujah. Don't procrastinate. Take positive step. If you believe going back to uni will enhance your criteria in this country. Please don't waste time. If you believe that undergoing a training we Help your credence. Don't go and do it. If you believe changing a job will help you to maximize your potential and income, go and do it. There is no point in staying in a job for, a, for 10, 10, 15. I don't want to do that. I'll be saying I've stayed there for 20 years in the same posts, in the same position, and I'm a child of God. When he say I shall be the head. Don't stay in one place for too long. Don't stay in one place for too long. That is not of God. Don't stay in a job for too long. Hearing the same thing year in, year out. The will of God for your life is that you prosper. There is no prosperity in stagnancy. Hallelujah. The will of God is for you to go and possess as you are going. And take over. I pray for someone. This is your year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Rise on your feet. And commit your goals into his hands. Commit your goals into his hands. Commit your goals. Commit your goals this year. Say, Father, I commit my goals into your hands. I align my goals with yours. I align my... If you don't have goals, now pray that Father give me goals. Open my eyes. To see what I can do to make my life different this year. What I can do. Open my eyes. Inspire me. To see how I can make my life better. Inspire me to see how I can enhance my chances. Inspire me to see my opportunities. If you, have, if you know your goal, say, Father, I surrender them to you. Help me to fulfill them. Help me to fulfill my ministry. Help me to fulfill my capacity. Help me to fulfill my calling. Send men and women that will help me. Send men and women that will help me. I align my goals with yours today. I surrender my goals with yours. Rebo soto kulima. Kaemo shinda puka liba. Rebo senden kele mo soto kuliama satakaiba. Pray that prayer point. Lakaima Sataka Lima. Father, I surrender my goals. You say you know the thought you think towards me. Thought of peace, not of evil, to give me an expected hand. I receive a clear goals. I receive clear goals for your cause upon my life. This year, 2018, will not be a wasted year. It will be a year of strength achievement. I shall achieve. I shall achieve. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, Father, say, Father, command my season of glory to begin now. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and begin to pray. Command, issue a command in heaven and let my season of glory to begin now. Issue a command and let my season of expansion, let my transformation, let my change begin now. Issue a command, 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 and let my glory of season, let my glory of fruitfulness, let my glory of exploitation, let my glory of impartation, let my glory of blessing, let it commence now. It shall commence now, it shall commence now, my glory shall commence now, my glory, my season of change, my season of opportunity and expansion of blessing, my season of fulfillment, let it commence now, let it commence now, in Jesus' name we are praying. A louder amen. amen. 